So it's about time I got on with the air powered car. Uh, this is in fact the main chassis of the car. It's just finished printing, uh, just under about 11 hours print, uh, but it's turned out pretty nicely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you roughly my idea of where everything's going to sit on this uh, car and then get on with the build. So as I just mentioned, this is the main chassis of the car. It is 28 centimeters long and 15 centimeters wide. Uh, so it can be printed all in one piece on the Creality CR10 printer. Now this is the front of the car. Uh, this is the actual uh, pivots for the steering mechanism. Uh, you can probably tell the, the front wheels will steer and uh, sort of seat nicely in these indents so it doesn't you know, hit the main chassis. And the rear axle for the drive wheels will go through two bearings on this section here. Now it's designed to just about fit a two litre plastic Coke bottle, uh, which will be mounted here. Uh, I've made some 3D printed uh, sections which should fit the diameter of the bottle and just raise it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do before I mount any of the compressed air parts like the bottle and these parts, I'm going to get on with assembling the steering mechanism. So these are the main parts of the steering uh, axle I guess you could call it. The front axle will thread into there and this mounts in like that and this one mounts in like that. Now I don't currently have all the correct hardware for this. Uh, the bolts I have for this are slightly too long uh, so I need to order some proper length ones and I also need to order the front axles. Uh, I don't currently have those but I'll put these slightly longer bolts in for now uh, just so that we can get it working. So the two front axles have now been mounted to the pivots and now I need to mount a bar, a steering bar between them to link them together so that when this moves left and right it will turn the two front wheels. So now the two front axles have been linked together and the steering bar works quite nicely in the middle. I need to find a way of making the steering servo controlled. So I've got a servo mount just behind the steering bar and what I'm going to do is mount a right angled piece between the steering bar and then run a push rod to the servo. So what I'm doing here is I'm just powering up the servo so that it it can move and it also self centers. So now what I want to do is cut this push rod to the correct length uh, so that the steering is straight. As you can see if I push it forwards and backwards the steering moves. So before I fully secure the servo in position it's still loose in the mount. Let's just grab my controller and we'll see if the steering works. Not bad, eh? I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know if it's... Yeah, it's even turning the right way. Okay, so now the servo's popped out. Just going to mount that in position with a few screws. So the steering mechanism is all done. Uh, now what I'm going to do is mount these brackets which will hold the plastic bottle in position. So there we go, the bottle mount brackets are in position. Uh, they actually have a slot that goes all the way through them to the other side. So I will eventually cable tie the bottle to the brackets. And this curve actually matches the radius um, of the bottle, or the diameter of the bottle. So it fits quite nicely on the end there. It does protrude out the sides a bit, but that's not a huge issue because the front wheels will stick out the front a little bit as well. And uh, hopefully nothing's going to hit the back because it shouldn't drive in reverse. Now, the engine, which is this, this is the compressed air engine version five, which uh, last week I uh, did the build tutorial on and uploaded the SEL files to Thingiverse. 
This is going to mount right here on these slotted tracks. Now it's on the slotted tracks because what I'm going to do is design a gearing mechanism from the engine uh, to the rear axle. Uh, so I haven't done that yet, but the plan is that this will obviously be able to slide to mesh the two gears together. Now you may also notice this section here where there's these four holes and also uh, these small brackets. Now this is where the secondary servo will mount. Uh, it will either mount that way or the other way. It will probably mount like that. Um, and what this servo does is control the throttle to the engine. Uh, now in my previous, uh, one of my previous videos where I built the diaphragm valve, I'll most likely be using a diaphragm valve uh, mounted here. Uh, I've yet to design it though, but uh, what will happen is the air will flow through a four millimeter PVC tube like I used in last week's video, flow out of the bottle, into the throttle, uh, and then out of the throttle into the engine. So that's my plan for next week. So that's about as far as I've got on the air powered car this week. Uh, most of the week was spent designing. Uh, there was quite a lot of work into obviously designing all this system. I've never built a radio control car before, so just had to you know do some research on the steering mechanism. Uh, in terms of what needs to be done, uh, I obviously need to, well I'm waiting for the new hardware, shorter bolts here, and the right size bolts for these front uh, axles for the front wheels. And I also need to sort out a rear axle. Uh, in terms of 3D printing, uh, parts that I need to do. I need to 3D print the the gearbox or the gearing mechanism. You know, I'll, I'll probably put, well, I will put a smaller gear on the engine and then a bigger gear on the rear axle uh, so that the engine can spin at a higher RPM than the wheels uh, because I'm, I don't think this engine really has that much torque. Uh, and also I need to design and 3D print the servo operated uh, valve for the throttle control. But it's looking pretty good so far. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. I'm not sure where my scales are, so I don't know how much it actually weighs. Uh, but no, it's looking quite nice. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe. And a huge, huge thanks to all of my patrons for supporting me. You guys really make these weekly videos possible. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see any more information, then go visit my Patreon page. I upload uh, behind the scenes footage, extra information, and I'll probably be doing a question and answers uh, video about this car. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.